So, what can $60 million do for just 6,700 residents in a small community where education has not traditionally been a high priority? Well, that experiment is playing out in the South Bay, where an Obama administration program called Promise Neighborhoods is one of only 12 in the nation. NBC7 investigates Wendy Fry has been following that money very closely, and she actually has found some tangible results to share. Wendy. Mark, I have to tell you, I was pretty skeptical of how these numbers would look after just one year under this program. When you think about it, for the size of this tiny neighborhood and the amount of federal and matching dollars being poured into it, it actually works out to just about $9,000 per person in Castle Park. Today, we got an exclusive look at how those dollars are being spent. My mom, she, she's gone. Um, I mean, not too often. She she does. She is in college herself too. So, she's. I mean, it's kind of left for me to make sure I take care of my responsibilities and and make sure my brother takes care of himself too. High school senior Robert Corrales and his brothers are among some 265 students who have received free tutoring services at Hilltop High School. What were kids do after school before? Before, um, like nothing, go nothing much. Walk, walk go home. Walk. Go yeah. Go see. That's it, nothing. Just go hang out after school. Kind of kind of just waste your time. The main focus of the Promise Neighborhood effort is to get families to make education a priority and college the end result. In this quiet, neatly kept neighborhood, 67% of adults have not even graduated high school. Parent Erica Carrillo has been volunteering to identify needs in this small community. Recognizing that there's improvements and that you have to ask and you have to work for them was probably the most powerful. Already, the grant administrators say the program has made an impact for the 16 kids who just received early acceptance letters from colleges like UC Berkeley and UC.